Are you sick of the daily content grind and you don't seem to be getting any results? Why are some people able to generate consistent leads on LinkedIn while they're sleeping? Well, today I want to share with you a path to getting off that endless content content, content grind and bring in those consistent leads, even while you sleep, to your email list every week. So you're ready to get started? I'm Charlene Tessier, and I help financial service professionals get high quality leads from LinkedIn to their list week in and week out. Let's get started with our, let's see if we can get to some slides going on here. Pardon me. This is what happens when you have a lot of tech and you haven't, I don't usually do a lot of slides and I want to do a few slides because I think it makes it a little bit more interesting for you guys. Sorry, I thought this was uh, screen share wasn't properly set up. Screen one. No, we are on screen two. I know. Allow this. There we go. It's working. And actually, I think I'm going to do it. There we go. There we go. So last week, I sent out an email to uh, you guys asking you about your top questions about LinkedIn lead generation. And I was really overwhelmed by a response. And today in this live stream, I'm going to be answering that top question that you all kind of asked. And I'm going to show you a little bit, a little bit on how you're going to be able to get started with the lead generation um, and getting those leads to your list without having to do that daily content grind that doesn't seem to be yielding any results. Now, trying to get trying to generate consistent leads on LinkedIn, it isn't always simple and as, as simple as many people seem to make it out as. And it comes with many challenges. And that's why I'm going to de demystify for you the process of the LinkedIn lead generation, which is going to save you a lot of time and frustration. Generating consistently high consistent leads on LinkedIn. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I already <laughs> talked about that. So contrary to many LinkedIn coaches who say that you have to do a lot of research and a lot of direct messages and essentially cold outreach where you try to contact potential leads and build this relationship with them. It seems to take forever and it seems to not really work. Ever wonder why? Well, I'm going to show you how I kind of go against the grain of that. And what I do is very different and it's kind of unexpected, but it does work. And it's not only going to work for me, but it's going to work for you because it's going to open the door to some high quality leads uh, so that these prospects start to reach out to you rather than you spending all the time trying to contact them and chase them down. Now, imagine if you're able to attract high quality leads on LinkedIn with the ease and without the constant daily gr grind of the content. And that is a really, really common amongst many uh, financial service professionals because that's what they feel they have to do. Grind out that daily content. And this what I've done hasn't only worked also for me, but has also worked for one of my clients. This is Paul. He is um, a, um, a professional, a, a fitness professional who help, who works with work from home professionals. So people who are, uh, I guess, remote or hybrid workers to help them keep getting fit um, during the day, doing some micro exercises. Now, after discovering and working with me on how to target the right clients and right leads on LinkedIn, he was able to commit himself to the process and what happened is an organization called the Blue Zone reached out to him. Now, you may have heard of that Blue Zone. They've written a book and they even have a show on Netflix. And they're talking about why are these people uh, living to be centurions? And they seem to be a really good fit for Paul, don't you think? And the thing that was really shocking to Paul was that he was putting out his high quality target content on LinkedIn and he didn't even know they were following him. They never commented. They never engaged. He had no idea. But within a few months of working with me, they reached out to him about their pilot project about running a blue zone experiment 
in his area and having him as one of the experts. Wow. And what did they see Paul as? They saw Paul as an authority, an expert in that particular niche. And that's something that many financial service professionals don't really do with their LinkedIn. They kind of blend in with everybody else. And it's very, very hard for your prospects to know you're the one for them. So let's get into the three steps to generating high, uh, consistent leads that are high quality. And the three steps are, first, you need to know the right target niche for LinkedIn. Now, what possibly works for you on Facebook or on TikTok or in any other platform might not work on LinkedIn. Second, you want to capture high quality leads in your list. So we're talking not about just generating posts, getting comments. We're not like talking about tons of followers, not talking about lots of views. We're talking about leads into your list. And those who get into your list, your email list, are much warmer, much more high quality prospects than just the follower or possible reaction person on your post. And the third is we want to create this authority building content. And this is where the real magic happens because I made this mistake for years. Most of us are putting out a lot of educational teaching content on the platform. And this isn't where the magic sauce is. What really makes people take action and want to get into your leads or want to direct message you or reach out to you is with this authority building content. Now, today, I don't have time to go through all of them because this is a lot, but I'm going to deep dive into the first step, knowing the right target niche for you on LinkedIn and how this is going to help you get more quality leads and build your presence as an authority and expert in that space. And most importantly, I'm hoping that this training is going to open you up to learning about the other steps and how that they can work together to create a LinkedIn lead generation system that's going to work for you day in and day out. So let's focus on the first step, knowing the right target niche for you on LinkedIn. And Funnily, the question that kind of came up over and over again in that little email, email survey I sent out was, this is um, from one of the participants because uh, she put it or he put it, I don't actually know, it's anonymous, um, very eloquently. And it kind of came up in different variations over and over. And what was the question was, how do I get the most LinkedIn lead generation the fastest? most efficiently, but generate good leads, right? And this really just comes down to knowing the right target on LinkedIn. And you want to pick the target that is active. And like I said before, it's not necessarily the one that was on Facebook or the one that works in person. It's who would be that target niche on LinkedIn. And as Pat Flynn so eloquently says, and I love quoting him, he says, the riches are in the niches, and this is especially so in LinkedIn. So you're probably wondering, okay, that's great. I got to target that specific niche, but how do I do it? Of course. Well, let's take a quick look at um, another. I don't have permission to show these people's profiles, so I don't want to upset them, but I just blurred them out so that you can kind of see their little bit of text under their name. And I'm going to explain to you in a minute why this little bit of text is really important. But let's just take a look at two different ones. We're going to look at this one, example A, and then in a second, we're going to look at example B. The first one, it says they are startups and innovation and marketing pro founder champion, blah, blah, blah. And the next one, and this is a friend of mine, so I do have permission to use their uh, name, is I show solopreneurs how and when to ask for the sale. And there's a little bit more. But in that little beginning there, you, you kind of know exactly who Nancy's looking for. She's looking for the solopreneurs who want to know how and when to ask for the sale. Let's go back to this one. The number subject A. Who are they talking to? Uh, what do they do? How do they help me? And so why is this little bit here that I've just showed you so, so important? Because on LinkedIn, 
You don't know it, but every single minute of every single day, you got to make a great or amazing first impression. And where is that first impression happening? Do you know? I'm going to show you right now. Let me take this off. Going to um, go out of this here for a second and grab up this other screen. Uh, I don't want to stop the screen share. There. So I'm just on my uh, general home here on my uh, on my feed, okay? And your amazing best first impression happens here. It happens here every single day of every minute because where is it? It's right under your name. Uh, here we have I make pre-seed uh, to Series B founders successful. That Wow, if I'm a founder who's going from pre-seed to Series B, and I know what that means because it's kind of a tech startup space, I probably want to follow him and learn a little bit more about him. That's your first impression right there. And it's following you around. It's not following you around on your posts. It's following you around when you comment. It's following around you around when you have your reaction. It is everywhere. That is your introduction. It's just like you coming to an in-person place and not giving any introduction, just kind of standing around, sort of talking to people, but you never introduce yourself. A little bit awkward, isn't it? And what if you have this terrible introduction? What Would you go around in those networking events and say, I am the co-founder of the amazing Jello company and I help uh, I, sorry, I'm not even saying I'm going to help. And I do startups and tech. <laughs> that really doesn't tell me anything. But that's how so many people on LinkedIn introduce themselves. And it's really important to introduce yourself in a way that's going to call out to that target niche. Now, you might be wondering, well, so what if they, uh, you know, discover me or find me in a way that's... Um, you know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the next slide up. I'll get it up in a second. What's so important? It's because once they found you and sort of discovered maybe your content's really amazing, but you have this introduction that's kind of meh, they don't have any desire to move forward with you, right? It's just kind of like, I consumed that, I'm going to move on with my life. But what if they consume that and then they're like, and this happens to me all the time, and I bet this has happened to you, is like, who is this person? Right? When they go to that homepage and the first thing they consume is the content and they don't know that person, they don't really look at the name. They don't even look at that little headline. They just consume it. And what do they think about after they consume? It's like, wow, that's that guy's pretty interesting. Or that, that person's, wow, that insight was amazing. What else have they got, right? So what do we want to do next? We want to then go to their little bit of text under their name and we want to click on their name and head to their LinkedIn page profile. I'm trying to just grab my slide deck, which for some reason is now hidden away. Two seconds. Okay, let me do this. Um, huh. For some reason, my apologies. I guess when I moved to that other screen, it got a bit wonky. Enter that full screen mode and get back in, please. Start showing that slide for me. Here we go. So we're going to go and take a quick look at Amy's. And Amy is one of my past clients. And this is where you end up on her profile page. Oh, my apologies. Going ahead here. Wrong, wrong slide. And it's the first impression there too, right? It tells you so clearly in her banner how she's going to be able to help me, who she wants to be able to help, and how she's going to do it for me. And all of this leads back to that question. How do I get the most LinkedIn lead generation fastest, most efficiently generating good leads? Now, you're probably still wondering, okay, great information. You've shown me so much stuff. I still don't know how to do it. How do I do this? And to be honest, it is going to take a bit too long to show you on this particular live stream. However, stay to the very end because I'm going to give you a tool that's going to help you do it really fast, really easy, and you're going to find out how to do that for yourself and customize it to make it work for you. And then send it back to me for feedback. I would love to see that. But you got to stay to the end and I will share that tool with you. So imagine for a second that how it's going to feel to have these high quality leads reaching out to you, asking for you for partnerships 
and collaborations. And now you're reaching audiences beyond LinkedIn. You're not doing that one-to-one -one anymore. You're doing that one-to-many. You're finding those partnerships and collaborations with those target audiences that make sense for your business. So what would that be like for your business? What kind of impact is that going to have on your life and your business every single day? Now, getting from the daily content grind on LinkedIn to a lead generation system is absolutely possible for you. And when you're able to know how to target the right client in the right niche on LinkedIn, then it all becomes essentially goes into autopilot. It is so simple. It just runs day in and day out. And you don't have to continue that grind anymore. So as you can see, I really do love talking about LinkedIn lead generation. I have made over 200 live streams and videos around LinkedIn lead generation. I've been doing this for the last four years, and I've been receiving a lot of feedback and positive experiences working with my clients. And as I mentioned to you, I'm going to help you to identify that target niche and stay right to the end. I'm going to give you that tool to shortcut you so that you can figure out what's going to be working for you today. And if you, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the tool is uh, I'm just in the process of finishing up, putting on the last little finishing touches on it. And so if you want it, let me know in the comments below, put that word target. And I will make sure to direct message you the direct link as soon as it's ready early next week. It's just about done. So put that word target down below. And if you are watching this and really enjoying this type of content, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel or hit the follow uh, button on LinkedIn so that you can capture more information and find out how you can generate leads um, on LinkedIn very easily and on autopilot. Till next time, I'll see you all then.